Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. This is definitely part of the Life and Stuff part. This is Snacks Around the World. If this is your first time here, welcome in. This is where I get to try uh, snacks from all over the place, right? Uh, I subscribe to a monthly box called Munch Addict. I pay for it with my own cashy money. This is not um, sponsored in any way, although if they wanted to, hmm. Anyway, I get it every month. I get a snacks with a little bit of information and I can go look up more information on them, but you know, why do that? Why not just try them, right? Today, we are going to go to Ireland again. We're going to go to Japan. We're going to go to Korea. And we're going to go to the UK. What? Yes, all over the place. Okay, let's start off with something that should be savory. Oh my gosh. We had some Tato's last time that were like beef and onion and they tasted like wonderful onion soup or like a roast dinner almost. Look at this, roast chicken Tato's. Okay, roast chicken flavor potato crisps because you know, they call them crisps there and not chips. Anyway, um, yeah. And it tells you the little story of Mr. Tato and everything else on here. But the secrets in the flavor. Spelled with a U, of course. Not spelled, but just the way the Americans spell it. I'm going to use the anti deborah proof packaging solver here, which is my scissors or my skizzers, because that's how they're that's how they're spelled. That's how I should say it. Alright. Hmm. Not as instantly, like, overpowering with the, uh, the scent as the other ones were. But I do get a hint of chicken. Let's see what they taste like instead of just shoving them up my nose. Right? Mmm. Oh, my God. I swear I'm eating a rotisserie chicken. That is awesome. Dude. Market your chips over here, okay? I am not even kidding. Twice in a row, I am blown away by the flavor of these chips. And I'll bet you dollars to donuts that the hand is going to want some of these. I'm going to pause this for a second so I can move stuff out of this chair. Okay, unpaused. The hand has arrived. Seriously. Stick some of that in your face. Oh, a handful. I see how it is. And now Oscar gets some too. <laughs> One dropped on the floor and Oscar is very interested in it. What do you think? Eating a rotisserie chicken, right? That is freaking dandy. Seriously, y'all. Somebody talk Tato into sending their chips over here because, whoa, that is fantastic. And since the hand is here, I might actually add another snack into the mix too because I have extras today. All right, this one, oh gosh, I can't get over that. That is so good. This one appears to be Korea, always stuff in Korea. CW Chestnut Cookie. Soft mochi cookie with a chestnut filling. Here's the packet for it. He's stealing my potatoes. All right, we're gonna stop this Deborah Proof stuff here. Hmm. One little lonely cookie, but I will share it little dark it's squishy so yeah I can see where they're getting oh wow wow it's mochi in the middle hello look at that you can see the mochi in there all right <laughs> oh yeah crumbs everywhere mm-hmm hmm 
not overly sweet. I was expecting it to be sweeter. Because mochi is usually super, super sweet. I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> it's chestnut, supposedly. I've never had chestnuts in a cookie. Okay. That was pretty good. Not enough of it because, you know, I want two or three more to, you know, really give it a proper test, right? For science. Science! If you know what that's from, comment down below. <laughs> All right, this one, I got to tell you about it first. This is from Vietnam. This is the Hura Swiss Roll Orange. The picture makes it look kind of like a little Debbie snack without the chocolate. So we'll see what it looks like when I open it up. A lot of air in it, which I guess is a good thing. 19% something. I have no idea. I, I, I can't read Vietnamese. Okay. The air is gone. His brain is gone. It's little. Look at this. Look at how deep down in that packet you have to see to find the tree. Okay. <laughs> oh, it smells nice, though. Let's see if I can bust this one up without creating a... Uh -huh. I'll show you the middle there. It's, it's rolled up. Not you, Oscar. I could have a box of those. That is yummy. Nice and bright and citrusy. Mm -hmm. And the cake isn't too dry. Like a lot of times you get these packaged little cakes and it's like, oh, it's kind of dry. No, it's actually pretty good. But it's like an orange Little Debbie snack. It's kind of yummy. Why doesn't Little Debbie snacks put out an orange roll like that? I see what I'm doing next. The hand hitter. Not you. Do you need to be in the video? Come here. Oh my goodness. Oscar, hello. What are you purring about? Are you happy boy? He's purring because he got tater chips. Oh, he got some of those Tato tater chips because one landed on the floor. So he thinks that they're all for him. Oh, look, Knucklers. Yes, I know you're a sweet boy but you don't need the rest, so you get down. We were going to do this one as sort of a taste test, but I found it's got a little air that happened in packaging it. I mean an air, I mean an air comes out through the back. The seam came undone, there it is. We'll probably still try it, but we might expect it to be a little stale. But we're going to try these. This are pretz. These are from Japan, from Glico. Glico, Glico, I don't know how to pronounce it. That name brand over there. Not Pocky. Not Pocky, exactly. Baked snack sticks, sweet corn. I love sweet corn. I love sweet corn flavored things. There are some chips that we used to get from a brand called Hers, or Hairs, Hers, Hairs. I don't know. That was a sweet corn flavored potato chip. It tasted like someone had roasted some wonderful sweet corn. You opened that bag and gave a smell, and it was like, <sighs> sweet corn. Yeah, seriously. Is that good? All right. Easy to take out the inner package. Let's see if they make this Deborah proof. They do not make it Deborah proof. Bonus. But they are kind of busted up from the travel here. They're supposed to be sticks. They are broken little sticks, <laughs> but that's okay because they're not like coated in anything, I don't think. So, dude, mmm. All right, give me some of them back. They're supposed to be long oh, wow. sticks like a pocky, but smell. Mm hmm. Wonderful aroma, they're very buttery. So if you like your sweet corn or a little butter, these are for you. Wow, those are yummy. They are really, really yummy. Now, luckily, you can sometimes find this brand at some stores around. Occasionally. I've never seen the sweet corn ones, though. I hope I do. Yeah. I'm on board with these. How about you? Yep. Yummy. 
Mmm. That is really, really good. This is another snack that came in that box. Um, but like I said, it had a little opening, like, from, from packing, you know, from traveling, I'm sure. And they do say, display and store in a cool place. Consume immediately after opening to ensure crispiness. So I have a feeling they're not going to be that crispy. When I get a, 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 a scent of it, it smells good. Sizzling barbecue. Look at the picture they show on the back. They show some meat with some mushrooms and veggies and all kinds of stuff. So let's open it. We'll see if any of the crispness survives. But we're not going to give a total, you know, bad review because just because it didn't get, didn't make it here. It came a long way. By the way, these are from the Philippines. Oh, they look like pork skins. You ever had pork skins in America? That's kind of what they look like when they're the little pieces. They smell good. He doesn't like them. They're okay. They lost some crispiness from having that back open. You can tell they're, you know, a little stalish, but the flavor's not bad. Yeah. I think it would be fun to find these someplace and buy them. And that was a big bag to get in that box. So I'm disappointed that they didn't make it, you know, without being a little bit damaged. But I'm not mad at it. I don't know who this dude is. I guess he's Pee Wee because it's Pee Wee Sizzling Barbecue. But yeah, product of the Philippines. Nutritive Snack Food Corporation. I don't know how nutritive this is. Okay, let's be real. It's a crunchy snack. But I think they'd be pretty good. And that one that I promised you from the UK, I don't think the hand will like, and he has already wandered off. These are randoms. Round tree randoms. And it says, more random than a monkey playing a saxophone. As spoken by a llama with fruit on its head. So I'm kind of confused by that. Fruit flavored gummy chews in random shapes. So we will, and no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. All right. So let's see what we got. I want to give a, a bag a, a sniff. Wow, the fruit scent is huge when you open that up. I think that's a spaceman. It's got two layers. It's got like a white layer and a fruity layer. I don't know what that's all about, but I guess we'll find out. The white layer does not have the fruit flavor in it. I can tell you that because I tasted that on my tongue by itself. The fruity layer, however, is quite fruity. Hmm. That is pretty yummy. And these are put out by Nestle. I don't know why they don't sell this sort of stuff here. Nestle's big over here. Dude, bring it to to the U.S., okay? Um, contain some of these fruit juices that are in here. Apple, blueberry, black carrot, orange, lemon, raspberry, mandarin, and strawberry. So, you got a good variety of stuff. Oh, look at this. Dude. A spaceship. Now I know why they call them randoms. How cool. And they're squishy. Mmm. <laughs> Looks like somebody just broke his headphones. That's not good. Okay, these will be consumed. I am normally not a huge gummy, you know, candy flavor, gummy candy person, but these are way cute. And the random little shapes, boy, they are random. I'm not even sure what this is. Hmm. 
Okay, that's good. That's good. All in all, I'm always pretty happy with the munch box. Gives me some good stuff. I get to taste stuff from other places. And I've had some suggestions lately. People would like to see stuff from New Zealand. Never had a snack from New Zealand. Um, South Africa, again, dude. Munch box. Step it up. We want to see some more stuff from some more places. We get a lot of Korean snacks because apparently the Koreans are like, you know, king of snacks. Um, but yeah, let's have some more stuff from some more places. I mean, even this in my box this month, I had two from Ireland, one, two, three from Korea, one from Japan, two from Vietnam, one from the UK, and one from the Philippines. That's what I had this month. On the back is some others, like if you get the big bonus box or whatever. And you can even get one with a beverage. I don't go the extra expense to do that, but you can do that. All right. Thank you for coming by and enjoying a snack around the world with me and with the hand who has gone in the other room now. Um, and until we chomp on some good stuff again. <laughs> Hope you've checked out the playlists that are popping up above because I do lots of stuff on here. I do crochet life and I do stuff. This is stuff. <laughs> and I hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.